Okay, so my question is that you're someone who's like very show oriented, you like to perform and like yeah. music is your life. So with COVID and everything, how do you continue to do music? So that's it's it's kind of a double edged sword. So it's it's <laughs> it's good and bad that this is all happening because right now, since we can't perform really, we're just trying to write as much as possible. And we don't know like if you know when we're gonna release any music or anything. But um with what we're trying to do, you know, uh, we just put out a new record in October, but you always wanna keep writing anyway. So my goal is is like to just write enough material to where when I, you know, when this all, this pandemic thing ends that like, hopefully I'm just never home because I, I love touring. I love playing shows. That's, that, that's my whole thing. So, um, you, you, it's just about being creative and trying to figure out how you can stand out from everybody else, you know, dur during these times it's like, cause you know, again, we're in the internet age where, you know, there's, there's so much competition because everybody now has like an open platform. So again, it goes back to that story of like, what's going to make you different than everybody else. Why, why should people watch me? Why should people watch my band? Why should, you know, any, anybody do anything, <laughs> but at the same time, um, yeah, we're, we're just trying to, yeah, just stay active. And, you know, I, I think, I think of being a band right now, it's either you want to be either completely be in people's faces or you want to be a ghost. That's the, that's the only way I can see it happening. So with me, I'm not much, you know, I'm, I'm 37 years old. I'm not much of a, a, a TikToker or, you know, anything like that. So, um, you know, but I, 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 that seems to be like the, the trends that are, are going for like people in their, you know, in their 20s and like high school and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's just it's about knowing like what's what's current, what's out there. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, just so all I've been doing is just writing since this, this has all been happening. So trying to do photo shoots, trying to just, just trying to stay on people's radars as, as much as I possibly can, because we, we don't know how much longer this is going to last. This, this could go on for another year. I don't know. I mean, there's some places that are like kind of opening up right now, but yeah <laughs> okay so basically uh, i was wondering like what's your favorite part about music and or like being like a musician in general my favorite part is just being able to um create something from nothing and then putting it out into the universe and then seeing what happens and just being able to get your art out there and to be able to connect with people so i mean that that's what it's about for me you know what I mean? It's like, it's really special to just go from like an idea that you have in your head, put it on the recording and then just have people listen to it, you know? And then whether they care or not is like a whole nother, <laughs> a whole nother game. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it again, I, I, I've been an active musician for almost like 20 years now, but I'm um, just like on and off from different projects. Uh, yeah, I, I think that the creation process, like the collaboration, that's, that's what does it for me. So... <laughs> You know, and and then being able to have like your your art form seen seen into like uh, the life of of other people, and you know, having people say like, "Oh, you inspired me to start playing drums," or "You inspired me to, you know, make a band or write a song or what whatever it is," you know. So, um, I'm always learning off of people too. So it's I, I, as a musician, it's it's just never ending. <laughs> it's it's not, you know. So, yeah, it's it's just been about you know, building it from the ground up. No, knowing the knowing the community players in, in your in your home state or hometown or whatever n knowing people at like your you know your local radio station and then if people want to give you a chance or not if people want to listen to your music and it, it's just got to resonate with people but i i think like when you're starting a band too there the, you have to think like what's going to make you different than everybody else like what's going to set you apart like why should people listen to your music you know like what what makes you different from me what makes me different than like uh you know, like panic at the disco or something. I don't know. It's just like you have to, you have to think about like what what's going to separate you from everybody else. So that's another thing I would say with music. But it, you know, originality goes really far because you know I I feel like once like one guy gets big, there's like a bunch of copycats that come after that. You know, because they're all trying to figure out like what was the secret that that guy did to become you know, successful. But it's just about kind of staying true to yourself and being aware of what's what's going on like in the world. But at the same time. You want you want to be as original as possible. Oh, uh, I got a question for you, Mr. Ryan. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's up? Yeah, what's up, dude? How was your experience being on a Disney movie, The Poof Point, in two thousand one? How was your experience oh, in that? God. <laughs> 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 wow, someone did their someone did their research. Um, no, you know what's actually cool about that show is I actually I had some of my music in there, and so I still I still make money off of that. I don't make money off the acting anymore, but I still get I still get checks for a couple songs that were in the movie. 
So that that's that's a that's a gift that never stops giving. So if you're able to get your stuff like in TV or movies or anything, you know, like that's that's mailbox money for the rest of your life. Okay, uh, what inspires you to keep on going? That is actually a really good question. Um, part of it is that I don't know how to do anything else. This is the only thing I've been able to do. <laughs> I, I'm not joking. I uh, as soon as I graduated high school, I I just went on the road. I got um picked up by this like all girl punk rock band at the time because like I, I was in this local band in Salt Lake where we were we were the band that was like drawing people to our shows. Like we were like the local act, and so national touring acts that would come through our town would like rely on us to bring in like a following. And we worked really hard and like passed out flyers. We were trying to just, you know, be in people's faces, stand outside shows, like just w- working really hard. It's, it's almost like owning a business, you know? So it's like, uh, how to describe this? It's like being in a band. I know this sounds crazy, but like being in a band is almost like being like a McDonald's, right? So if you were like a McDonald's, you wouldn't want to like go to like somewhere you weren't familiar with first, right? Yeah. You wouldn't, you want to go, you wouldn't want to go somewhere you weren't familiar with first and try to like, you know, sell your Big Macs and your, you know, whatever you, you'd, you'd want to start off in your hometown, you know, you'd, you want to start off where like, cause I know people are so eager to like go on the road and try to tour around and everything, but it's, it, again, everything starts at home. What makes me want to keep doing this is that I keep learning from my mistakes. Right. And I think that like, you know, you go down, if you go down one road and it doesn't lead anywhere, you turn around and you try to go down different avenues and you go down different paths. So I think it's a lot of it is just persistence and not giving up. Again, it goes back to the thing I was saying where like nine times out of 10 bands fail and I, I refuse to fail. So I, I'm, I'm one of the one in 10 that is too dumb to stop, right? So that's why I'm still doing it. And, you know, and, and this could create other opportunities. You know, that someday I might get too old to play drums and I might get out of shape and then, you know, but with all the relationships I've made over the years, maybe I could, you know, work at a record label or work at a management company. I've, I've kind of dabbled in management already with with a couple bands and you know, I'm, i've just been like you know i've just been very curious about how like some things work and i'm still learning you know but the music industry is very it's very shady it's very dirty it's very um it, it, it could it could take you down you know if you're not careful so i, I try to be one of the good guys and you know I, i'm almost like i feel like i'm like fighting for like the common good and i'm trying to figure out like why bands get screwed over or why bands sign crappy deals or like you, you hear about these people like not making you know a living and, you know, and if, and if it was about money for me, I would have quit a long time ago because <laughs> there's, you know, I, I'm, I'm truly in this for, for the, the long haul.